Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves fucking slaps. You may not know this about me, but I really enjoy playing me some D&D. And when I heard that they were going to make a D&D movie, I was kind of iffy on the idea. Not because making a D&D movie is a bad idea, it's just that it's been done before and not really to a great degree. So when I went to go see this one, let me tell you that I almost shit my pants in the theater from how much I actually enjoyed it. Now, I don't know enough about the D&D lore to really start nitpicking and slapping this movie around in the ball, so this video is going to be a shorter one than normal, but only just by a teensy weensy bit. First off, this movie is a fucking blast to watch. It's really hard to accurately showcase what the feeling of playing a D&D campaign with some friends is like. Movies and TV shows have tried to do it before, but never really hit the landing, but somehow this movie managed to feel exactly like how a D&D campaign feels like, and they did it with just plot alone. No need for people sitting around a fucking table in a basement playing a tabletop game. But what do I mean when I say that this feels like a D&D game? Well, the main cast is just composed of a bunch of chuckle fucks from different backgrounds that really don't look like they belong together. They all look like they should be part of a different movie or game, but are all pushed together to achieve one goal. And in this case, that goal is to save Chris Pines' daughter and possibly try and save the world along the way. This movie should not have worked by any means, and yet here I am rimming this movie's asshole because that's exactly what this movie deserves. Chris Pine is in this movie as its lead, and let me tell you that when you ask me what actors or actresses will star in a D&D movie, Chris Pine is not somebody that I would think of at all. But he does a really good job. He's a charming little fuck that weasels his way out of every situation that he's been in. Kind of like the real Chris Pine. And that heavily goes into the plot. And I love that. He's just the guy trying his best, and I really like that a lot about him. The Fast and Furious lady is here as well, and god damn that I like her character a lot in this movie. She's a fucking badass that steamrolls through everything and everyone that steps in front of her, and you would think that somebody like her wouldn't really have a lot of things going on, but there's actually a lot of depth to her. Well, actually, every character in this movie has a lot of depth to them. Like every game of D&D, every character has their own little backstory that explains how they got there or why they want to go on this quest. I know that's usually how it is in every fucking story ever told, but it's a lot more special when it comes to D&D. When you make your own character, a lot of the times people put in a bit of time and effort to carefully craft their character, and you can really feel that in this movie. Every character feels special in their own way, and that's nice to see. I'm actually really trying hard to think of something that is not as positive to say, and it's kind of hard because I really did like this movie a lot. Oh, okay, so this isn't a huge issue, but the plot is kind of predictable. Now, I'm not saying I want some fucking insane twist and turns like it's a fucking last season of Game of Thrones. I'm just saying that when you start watching the movie, you kind of get the idea of where it's going, and it takes you exactly where you thought it'd go. I personally do not have a problem with this, but I do think some people might. Now, earlier, I did say that every character had a bit of love and care added to them, and I'm sorry, but I'm just remember that what I told you is a fucking lie. Uh, I do wish that they did a little more with the character Doric, I think that's how you fucking pronounce it. She's a cool, fun character, but I feel like she's the one that feels the most off in the group. She's brought into this group because she has a common goal with the other members, but she was kind of lacking in backstory, at least compared to the others. I'm sure she has one, but I can honestly say that I do not remember hers at all. I can remember the other party members' backstories, but with her, I'm really struggling trying to remember. Alright, back to dick sucking. The last thing I want to talk about are the special effects. This movie does a lot of practical effects, and I love it so fucking much. Now, if I'm being honest, a lot of those practical effects they use do really look a little bit fucking goofy, but that's all right. Because of that, it kind of has a lot of charm to it, and I'd much rather prefer this than having really shitty looking CGI characters. Overall, I fucking love this movie. It's not a perfect one, but it is a fun one that has a lot of heart to it. So I'm giving Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves a juicy 8 out of 10. This was an absolute surprise, and I really hope they do make a sequel. Whether I want these characters to return, I'm not really sure yet. It would be cool if they just continued to make more of these movies with new characters for every movie. Kind of like how a D&D campaign has a bunch of new chuckle fucks for every new campaign started. But those were my thoughts on the movies. What did you guys think of Dungeons and Dragons? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know. Anyways, thank you all for watching. It means a lot.